So, hello, first. Um, and when I was in European and North American cities like Barcelona, New York, Barcelona, New York, and Paris, I always go to museums in order to learn about the local art. But I like to go beyond the uh, museums and I like to learn about the local street art because I think that street art helps me to blend into the local society. Uh, because um, street art can store information like uh, what the local people value, what uh, their uh, history was, and what they are thinking about. So, yeah, street art helps me to uh, gain friends. So, um, once I was in uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn, I lived there for three months. Before that, before that, I was there for three months too. So, I was not new there, and I was coming back home. So. Um, I saw a street artist painting on the wall, and it was like a huge art tool. So I wanted to ask her many questions because that time I was very interested in street art, and I could not, something stopped me, and I just stood there like major art critic looking, looking at her for 20 minutes, and then uh, it was getting awkward and I went home. And um, so when I came home, my aunt is a painter, and I asked her to introduce me to a street artist. So next day I met Jaja, who is a pro skater and a street artist. And uh, actually I was in a skate park and we spoke a lot about uh, the local street art. And he told me that if I wanted to inquire more about it, uh, Bushwick was the best place to do it because SAMO is a group of street artists influenced the uh, street art very much. So um, he told me to uh, start uh, inquiring more about it. So I took my skateboard and, uh, and with my new friends I started cruising, cruising through the streets in order to find uh, local street art. And um, I found more than 300 pieces of it. Some were small, some were big, some were even covering whole streets. And actually it helped me to gain more friends because I learned about the local community I learned about the uh, history, I learned about what they actually value. So then I came to Tbilisi, and uh, the situation uh, dramatically changed because before, uh, before that I was walking through the streets full of art, and now I walk in the streets which are actually uh, colorless and gray. So I was always thinking about street art, and I decided that I had to inquire more about it. And this is what I found. Uh, Mo I found only three, I could identify only three uh, pieces of street art, in, uh, three styles of street art here. One is tech graffiti, second one is stencil uh, graffiti, and the third one is, I don't know what it is, but it was beautiful. It was just a spray paint. And in your, uh, uh, and on the left, there is actually the best piece of street art that I, have actu I actually found here. And on the right, there is, uh, no, um, on the left, uh, there actually is like the regular street art on Flushing Avenue, Bushwick. So, uh, actually in uh, Bushwick there are, uh, it's, it's like a very small place, it's like half of Summer Tower. And actually there I found um, 14 types of street art. And um, it's bad when you can like find 14 styles of it in a small place and when you can identify three uh, Georgia um, tech graffitis here have spelling and grammar mistakes like 80% of it and why am I so concerned about street art? I wanted to inquire more about it and I asked my mom's friend and she just finished the uh, Academy of Arts in Tbilisi and she told me that she had a presentation about street art and when they were asking about it uh, asking others about the uh, presentations, they didn't ask her because they had they actually had no idea what street art was. So she told me that everyone wants to know about street art, everyone wants to inquire about street art in, in Academy of Arts, and uh, the old generation doesn't care uh, because they have you know, a lot of problems. And so why am I concerned about uh, street art in Tbilisi so much? Because if you look around, we have a lot of problems. One, every morning I wake up and I have to come to school and I have tests and I'm very stressed. And uh, I look out of the window to uh, see something else and think about something else. And I see this. And uh, at first being stressed, I start to get depressed because 
look at this. This is like <laughs> the ugliest thing you can ever find. And me, um, I live in a house like this too. And it always bothered me because every day when I go home, I look at it and I get depressed because <laughs> it's like very ugly. So in 2008, government tried to change that, but they made it even worse. And they colored my building into um, a light green. <laughs> and a house in front of me, which is the tallest building on the tennis street, it's in um, orange, and it looks like a giant carrot. <laughs> and I look from, the, uh, from my window. And um, actually, it's even worse, because when I walk uh, through the streets, I try not to look uh, like straight, because I get depressed when I look at the houses. But now, when I walk through the streets, a yellow building just in front of me, and uh, I have to look at it, because it's like highlighted in the street. So mm, at first, I was thinking how to change the situation in Tbilisi. And um, I was young then. I was very small. And I was looking for a human who could just make those uh, buildings just disappear. And after that, uh, then I understood, I understood that there is no such thing, uh, no such human in the whole world. So I decided that uh, government had to demolish all of those buildings and build a new ones. But then I understood that that would cost a lot and mm. it would cause many problems. I didn't care about others. It would cause many problems <laughs> for me because my house would be destroyed and I would be homeless until they built a new one. And so well, well, I think one of the ma major solutions is uh, street art because, um, uh, because when I look at the um, uh, painting, I don't look at the canvas, I don't look at the background, I just look at the artwork and the artwork, like uh, I concentrate my mind on artwork. So I think that uh, we can easily use murals uh, to cover all the uh, ugly buildings and it, it can uh, easy, easily be used as like uh, cover for the ugliness of our tall buildings tall. Because uh, I will not look at this building, I will look at the artwork that is uh, drawn there. And it can be a tourist attraction and it can be a commercial place and many companies can make the uh, commercials there. So I like, what, uh, I like what one of the companies in Georgia started to do. And when I start to speak about street art, they always uh, tell that, uh, have you seen that uh, piece of art that that company started to make? And uh, it, uh, I understood that uh, street art can easily spread information and easily spread the um, uh, things that you want to spread. <laughs> so, um, uh, we, uh, Tbilisi has old culture, and uh, I think that Tbilisi has a very beautiful culture. I like old Tbilisi. Yeah. We have, uh, and we can easily mix that old culture with a new modern street art, and we can easy, easily make a new style of street art. We can make a style of street art which only Tbilisi will have if we mix our, our style with a new modern street art. And uh, some people like me who are interested in art will definitely start to walk around in order to learn more about us, they will, will learn more about our history, they will learn more about our society, and it will be easier for people uh, of other, uh, other nations to get blended into our society. Thank you for...